today, today. Welcome to another episode of WWE Celebrity Brawl. I am Dexter the Sexter. And I am Dave Wacka Wacka McCracken. And we've got a huge set of matches tonight for you. And first up, we have The Mask versus Rick Sanchez in an epic table match, Dave. Oh, I tell you what, Rick and Morty has got to be one of my favourite shows at the moment. Yes, I'll Welcome, have to... Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Our first fight for the evening will be a table match. Yes, I would have to agree with you, Dave. It's also one of my favourites. Yeah, Jerry is just such an inspiring character. I mean, I don't understand why they don't give that guy his own spin-off series. He's clearly the best character in the show by far. It's the only reason I'm not first competitor. He's gone from zero to hero. It's the most. Why? Why would Jerry be your favourite character? He's. What do you mean? Why wouldn't he be? He's an inspiration, really. A family man, always willing to do, you know, what it takes for his family. Uh, you know, he might not be successful, I mean, but that's the true sign of a man that just doesn't give up. No matter what life throws at him, he just keeps on going. It really is, like, it's like one of the most inspiring shows on TV right now. Well, I certainly wouldn't say that Jerry is inspiring in any manner at all, Dave, and I don't know what you mean that he'll do anything for his family. Half the time, he does the opposite, and... What are you talking about? He, he's, he's a sniveling little weasel most of the time. No, but like, that's only when, like, you know, when he's at his most broken point. Like, he does everything out of love for his family. I, I, don't, I don't agree with that assessment at all, Dave. I, I think... I, I think Rick would be the one that would do anything for Rick's his family. An yeah, yeah, but he's an anti-hero, so... No, what's an anti-hero? Well, like, you know, he comes like across... He, he comes across as being, like, yeah, a self-serving villain. He's a villain. He's a bad guy. He's, but he, he's not, because he, in the end, he does the right thing. Well, what's the opposite of a hero? If it's an anti-hero, that's a villain. And hailing all the way from Dimension C-137, it's Rick Sanchez! No, it's a hero that does the right thing, but it, maybe the methods are unorthodox. That doesn't make any... Well, why, why don't you just call him a hero, then? Well, an because... An unorthodox hero. That clearly, no Rick sense. Sanchez... It's confusing. If you're calling somebody an anti-hero, when they clearly are a hero, it's, it's like saying, like, you know, somebody is an anti-athlete. Oh, but they're still an athlete! Well, no, because it's like Batman, for example, is dark yeah, and brooding and will often have methods that are looked down upon by other heroes such as Superman. But that's what you have to do Hence when you're a hero. He, but that's, no, the hero but has to make that's why there's a clear distinction between a hero and an anti-hero. An anti-hero is a, What's a hero... What's that guy's uh, face? What guy's face? That uh, Rick, Rick. He's got like a um, giant monobrow going and some drool hanging out his mouth. I mean, that doesn't even look like it's uh, any kind of liquid from this planet. Like, what the hell is green? I mean, apart from that guy's face. Well, I mean, there's, there's lots of stuff that's green. Yeah, but what... what Flem, you... Flem can be green, Dave. Yeah, it just means he's not well, maybe. Oh, God. That's disgusting. That's a good time to remind the viewers right now to check out the At Loves to Spoof Twitter page and also our Facebook group, A Loves to Spoof. Give it a like, give it a subscribe, and check it out. Yes, yes, and we're always posting interesting things on the page, not just related to WWE, but... That's right. ...all sorts of interesting and... Such quite... as explanations of what an anti-hero is and isn't. Well, um, I don't that think... That would be helpful if we could put that up there. I would like to see some kind of actual research. I don't think our general viewers need that, Dave. Most of them have an IQ that's at least double of yours, so I, I think we'll be right with that one. Well, you're saying that they've got an IQ in the 400s. That's amazing. Uh, I'm saying that the average IQ is about 112 yeah. to 120, and you're yeah. half that, at least. I don't think so. Well, I think um, be, I'd at least score 100. That's the thing about stupid people, Dave, is they generally don't know that they're stupid. It seems like a rather confusing predicament to be in. Well, that seems to sum up your entire existence to me. Is it just like these guys, uh, when they don't know that they're actually wrestling? When do they not know that they're wrestling, Dave? Or if they don't have the situational awareness to be aware of where they are right now, they're going to get very confused. You just, like, wake up in a moment and just all of a sudden you've got fists and things flying at you and some guy's trying to, like, rip you over his shoulders. It'd be a terrifying experience. Is that what it's like, Dave? Dex. 
Why do I keep calling you Dave? Well, because like I said, you're an idiot with half the IQ of an average person. And Rick has brought in a table and it's worked against him because now the mask has taken control of the match. Why did he grab a table, Dex? Well, this is a table match, Dave, and in order to win the match, uh -huh. one must uh, put the opponent on the table and... Yeah. And do shots and until one of them passes out. No, Dave, they must break the table using their opponent. So you can either do that by putting them on the top and jumping onto them so that it breaks, or you can place the table in the corner and throw the other player, uh, the other character into the table. Table. What if the table is really sturdy and they can't actually break it? Like, I mean, tables should be built with uh, great solid support to begin with. The table shouldn't be being broken even if somebody is getting thrown on top of it. Well, Dave, what kind of shoddy craftsmanship have they got going on here? I think you'll find they're purposely built to break for the match. Why would you purposely build a table in order to break? What is this shit made from, Ikea? Uh, well, I mean... This is fake wrestling, Dave. We're not going to have them actually throw each other on real it's tables. It's it. it's fake. Yeah, yes, Dave, it's, it's all scripted. It's fake. They're not, scripted. they're not actually hurting each other, Dave. WWE isn't real. It's not real see? fighting. Anyway, um... So... What, who do you think is going to win out of this match, Dex? Well... It's a tough one because Rick Sanchez always has a plan and they do say that he's the smartest person in all dimensions and all universes. Right. Uh, but I mean, the mask has some tricks up his sleeve too, quite literally. He'll pull a Tommy gun out of his sleeve, now, so... Now, as we've seen though in the show of Rick and Morty, there are actually like multiple dimensions existing at the same time. So does that mean that even though the mask or whoever loses this match, they could actually win in an opposite dimension. That, that's actually quite accurate, Dave, which is really surprising that you get general well, I mean, basic physics wrong half the time, but something as complicated as multiple dimensions you Trump seem to have Trump has mentioned this before, on. that like any time that you see something happening, um, that people reporting is happening, it actually happened in another dimension. And we're back to normal broadcasting from Dave. And the table is set up, and the mask is... Looking a bit confused, and so is Rick, and... Why is he getting out? I don't think these guys know what they're actually doing right now. I mean, you bring a table into a wrestling match, and it's bound to bring up some... I mean, I'm confused as fuck. Like, I... Why, why is there a table in the match? I think they're trying to work out how to actually put each other onto the table. Right. They seem a bit confused by the whole process. What happens after they're on the table? Is there a massage performed? Is this kind of like how it goes? Like the, um, the post-match kind of de-stressifier, if you will. No, Dave. I just explained the process. I'm not explaining it again. Look up the uh, WWE handbook. They're having a slumber party right now. Well, they're looking injured and pretty hurt. Both, both competitors seem to be in a lot of pain right now, but no one seems to be in any more pain than the other if that makes sense. Well, they do seem quite evenly matched, which <laughs> goes back to what we were saying earlier. And uh -huh. and yes, I, I do believe in multiple dimensions. There's probably a dimension where both and neither win. Does that mean there's a, possibly a dimension where we're friends? I don't think there would ever be a dimension where that could happen, Dave. But looks and like Rick the is on the is table. Be performing a massage now. And if the mask jumps down, he'll have the match and... And what happens? No! Oh my god! It broke! It broke, but that wasn't... It didn't break what? from Rick. What do you mean? He was on the table and it broke! No, but let's look at that replay again. So the mask gets up, he jumps, yeah. he slips off Rick and his head broke the table. So Rick is the winner, Dave. What, sir, if he doesn't break the ta- oh. This might be the one time in the universe that you could actually say a rolling defense was a real thing. Hey, that's what I've been telling you from the get-go. Those rolling defenses are a completely underrated moveset, but we just can clearly see now the effectiveness of such a move. And so Rick what had the do. master plan to let the, uh, the mask slip off him and crack the table, and what a match. I did not expect that. I thought we were about to see the end of Rick, and it didn't happen. So up next, we've got Bruce Willis, accompanied by... Walt Disney. Uh, it's not Walt Disney, it's Walt, Walter White, Dave. Who the hell's Walter White? He's the uh, man from Breaking Bad, the series. Does he hate Jews as well? I don't know, you'd have to ask him. Possibly. He looks like a man who would hate Jews.
Why is that, Dave? Ladies and gentlemen, the following match has been scheduled for one fall. Introducing our first competitor of the night, it's Bruce Willis playing every character he's played in every movie he's been in. Bruce Willis! Everyone who hates Jews wears glasses, it's a known fact. Okay. And so last week we saw Rambo in the ring up against Arnold Schwarzenegger no, playing as the Terminator. And that was an interesting match as well because the Terminator dominated the match right up until the no. point that we see here when Rambo he did a series of dominate. spears. He didn't dominate shit. He got worn out by a clearly superior competitor. Well, that's not really what happened at all, Dave, but that I is. know that you're a bit sour after the way that uh, the your, your interaction went. This movie career is too good to talk about. Why, why is he not too good to wrestle? A guy can go fuck himself as far as I can. Okay, he Dave, well, himself. I mean, if you're rude to people, care. they're going to be rude back. That's just life. I've never been rude to you, and you're an asshole to me all the time. And if you love meth, you'll love our next competitor. It's Walter Breaking Bad White! Oh, Walt Disney really looks different with the hat on. Dave, it's not Walt Disney. Is he well, going to be bringing out like Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse and Dave, all those kinds it's of not characters? Walt Disney. Walt well, Disney isn't even alive. Why would? No, yeah, they, they obviously unfroze him, and that explains like the hairdo and everything. But like, it doesn't explain the glasses. I never remember Walt Disney wearing glasses, but that's. I mean, clearly, like something that uh, Jew haters have adopted. You're saying Jew haters wear glasses? Look, there seems to be a lot of characters that we have on this show that, like, don't really like Jews. And i got to say, I'm really kind of worried that people are going to start calling us anti-Semitic. Who, who else hasn't liked Jews? Duke, Duke Nukem. He's, um, I'm not going over this again with you, Dave. He's even called Duke Nukem. Duke Nukem. How is D-U-K-E any resemblance to Jew at all? This is still the dude. It clearly sounds like a J. Juke. Juke. Nukem. I'm just going to move on because I don't have time for your nonsense. And some of these characters are out here are uh, my favourite, Dave. And How I'll tell you... How to tell who's who in this match? Well, their clothing is quite different, so pay attention. Anyway, as I was trying to say, uh, with Rambo and, and Bruce Willis, or Sylvester Stallone, they, they, you know, these are actors from the 90s, and the things that I like about actors from the 90s is they didn't get involved so much with the media and didn't spout all of this conspiracy nonsense like Kobe Bryant and mm. all these people that you see now, just, mm. you know, just talking complete nonsense and really just destroying science for the general population. Yeah, like chemtrails for one. Yes, I agree with you. Chemtrails is a load of bullshit. It's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, they're completely focusing on the wrong thing. That The real conspiracy here is that planes don't exist. What? Aeroplanes. They're just an illusion. They've been a conspiracy that has been well buried for too long and someone needs to come out and say it. They don't exist. Aeroplanes are not real. What do you mean they're not real? They're... Like, you, you can see them flying in the sky, Dave. It's optical illusions. That's just optical illusions. It's projected from buildings all around the world. Wow, I mean, ha people travel in them every day to different countries. Don't I've been anywhere. in an aeroplane, Dave. They don't, do you think you actually went somewhere? You don't go anywhere when you're in an aeroplane. You sit down in the aeroplane, they buckle you up, they put on the little projectors on all, like, all the little movie screens and all the windows so you see clouds going past, you see the Taj Mahal, you see the Eiffel Tower. You're not seeing shit, you're just seeing a movie screen. It's just like those simulator machines that they'd have at like um, uh, uh, amusement parks where you get in one of those things and it makes you feel like you're on an intergalactic roller coaster do you really think you're on an intergalactic roller coaster when you're on one of those decks <laughs> More. well i mean but you can go to an airport and and watch a plane and take off yeah you can wait you can wait yeah at what deck what are you looking at them take off through a window you can walk out on the tarmac up to a plane and watch it take off that's not you an can... actual plane that you're seeing take off. That's just a bunch of guys, like, peddling it off the runway until they're in the safe area where they can start the projections. That's when they swap it all over. Why would they go through all that effort just to pretend that... It's propaganda. Planes... It's propaganda. It's all propaganda. Propaganda for what? Propaganda for the, the globalists. It's just, it's just another matter of control. It's a matter of getting more fuel into the... Uh, 
aerospace industry and it's all about generating money and tickets for, for when you don't actually go anywhere. So you're saying there's an aerospace industry, but there's yeah. no actual planes. Well, it's an industry for making money. That's what it is. Yeah, I mean, that's how they make their money. The fact that there is no planes. The people are paying for shit. So when Look someone, into it. Do your research. So when someone gets on a plane in, say, Melbourne, and yeah. then they get off and they're in Los Angeles, what happens there? Well, they were clearly in Los Angeles to begin with. But... Why do they live in Melbourne? Well, it doesn't make any sense. Look, I, I, I well, that's, that's what I'm saying. Questions. All I can say is that it looks fake to me. That's all I can say. is like you look at a plane and you're like, there's no possible way that thing could be real. How the fuck could something with two wings just float in the sky like that? It's unnatural. Well, and I'm not the only one that thinks this way. I'm pretty sure you are, Dave. No. And I mean, you know, the so internet will agree with me. People, if you believe the truth and you want to get it out there, please comment on this video with your opinions and back me up on this. Like, we need to show for once, give this poor man some education and show Dex what the real world's actually like. Dave, but it's not like you're an engineer or have any kind of background in aerodynamics I've done my or research. aerospace. I've done my research. What do you mean, Dave? You've done your research. I've done my research. Where, I've what research? Up. Where? I've looked at the internet. Where on the internet? There's where? like park benches. I saw a flyer. That's where it all kicked off. There was a thing saying, have you ever thought planes aren't real? And I was like, yes, I have. And it said, want to learn more? Go to www.we'reactuallyfullofshit.com. Well, I mean, that's in the title, isn't it? What? What title? That they're, they're, it's, they're full of shit. They're just... It sounds like the, the ones making the conspiracy are really the ones trying to bank on money no, 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 from what I'm stupid just, people it, that want to be part of a just conspiracy. A diversion. That's the whole point. Don't you know, like, MI5 tactics? It's what they do. It's subversion. It's they're saying it's full of shit. So you go, the people that actually are against this, the ones that are trying to sh quieten us and shut us up, the ones that would kill us for what we believe, they're the ones that we're trying to subvert. So they're like, oh, well, they think it's full of shit, so we're not actually going to follow it. But the real believers, they're the ones that will always follow through. So how do you explain, like, airstrikes in Syria, Dave? What the hell's an airstrike? Well, when planes drop bombs. Is that they go on bombs, strike? Well, you... I mean, of course they're going to go on strike because there's no planes to fly. All right, I'll take another road. How do you explain the atomic bombs in Nagasaki and Hiroshima? Detonated underground. How would they get it to the ground in the middle of Japan? Where do you think bombs explode from? From the air when they're dropped out of a plane, Dave. Where do they explode on? Well, the atomic bomb mm -hmm. exploded in the air. It doesn't hit the ground and then explode. What are you talking about? You can see an explosion of any like atomic bomb where it comes the mushroom cloud comes up from the ground. That's when they're doing nuclear tests, not when they've dropped an atomic bomb. You can go to Japan and see the dome where the bomb exploded above and it was the last standing building because it doesn't blow directly yeah, underneath. You really, you really think it's so hard to I've just... I've seen like, it. You really think it's so I got hard on a to plane, just like got one of those to Japan. optical illusions over the top and then just like have them press the button? Dave, I've walked in the middle of the dome where yeah. it blew up. Wait, you got blown up by a bomb? That, no, Dave. You I, can't survive that. I wasn't around you in 19... You in there when I wasn't alive in 1945, Dave. Clearly it was after that, many decades the, after that. So? So how would you know if it went in the air or the ground? That doesn't prove the point at all. Yeah, God, this because it's basic science. Going for a long time, Dex, I'll tell you it what. It does, and, and both of the... Uh, competitors are on the ground at the moment looking tired. This is exactly the same thing that happened in the first match. They're just both wearing each other out. It is. I like, I, this seems to be like a quite evenly matched night tonight. It, it does. I it think must be the, like, you know, the fact that these guys look similar. They fight similar. It's, it's like the boldness. One it's, could it's say that boldness. Walter White's the modern day Bruce Willis. But, Who would but, say that? But, uh, a meth dealer. Not, uh, he didn't fight meth dealers. But uh, as far as I'm aware, uh, Walter White can actually act. Well, that, that, that's true. Brian, I've actually forgotten his name, Dave, but the actor... Trans man. Yeah, he actually is a good actor mm -hmm. and diverse in his acting ability. Yeah. I, I did like him in that uh, movie recently with uh, James Franco. That was quite funny. Mm -hmm. uh, the names escaped me, but... Can't really say the same about Bruce Willis. 
Yeah, but Bruce Willis is, he's a, he's, Die Hard's a good trilogy. Yeah, I mean, you could say he's another iconic actor, very well known for his eyes. More so for his bald head, but his eyes would be a close second, I'd say. Uh, I don't think anyone's ever talked about his eyes, Dave. Well, they call him iconic all the time. Yeah, I iconic means he's an icon. Oh, I got no idea what that means. Oh, you know, something that's easily recognizable from the majority of the people. How can you recognize a bald man? They look all the same to me. Well, you're telling me when you see Bruce Willis, you don't know it's Bruce Willis? No. Well, what? Then... Two counts? Is this it, Dex? That's it. That's the match. That's three counts. Walter White Bruce has taken Willis it. Bruce takes it home. Well done, Brucey. You can't act, but you sure showed us you can fight. Dave, you, you've got it mixed up. Walter White won the match. Walter White? He wasn't even competing. I thought it was uh, Bruce Willis versus Walt Disney. No, Dave. It's Walter White. Who the fuck is Walter White? You just said it before. You said he's a good actor. Yeah, Brian. You, you even... Yeah, well, his character is Walter White. Oh. I've never actually watched the show, to be honest. I've seen pictures around. No, no, never actually watched the show. I have to admit, I haven't watched it either. I've heard great things. Yeah, they say that. But... So what was the point in Rambo even uh, being in this match, Dex? Uh, I believe the 90s uh, actors at the moment are just sort of supporting one another, probably. They're kind of forming because... like a, an actor's guild. Yeah, 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 you could say that. Yeah. So like a, an actor's union, what have you. Just like they had in uh, the um, Team America. Well, yeah. What do they call them again? Uh, FAG, I believe. That's Film right. Actors Guild. Yeah, that's right. There's nothing um, but a bunch of fags. Yeah, yeah you can say that. And up next, we've got, oh, we've got Bane at. versus Super we've Luigi. Warrior is on the rampage. Dave, yeah, I told you before, this is what I'm saying. There was like, he's got the Mario and then his evil bad guy. <laughs> no, uh, Dave, this, yeah. is, this isn't Wario for one. You said but, Wario was his brother for, for two, and that's clearly an L on his hat, not a W. If you switch well, the What's going inside? on here? And it looks like the Punisher is coming out to watch Bane's match. Ah, and of course, the, these two have been in quite a romantic close. relationship in the last couple of weeks. Who would you say would be the pitcher and catcher in that relationship, Dex? Uh, I'm not sure if I really want to dive down that rabbit hole, Dave. Well, I'll tell you what, they'd be diving down a few rabbit holes, you know what I mean? Uh, I actually don't. Can you uh, explain that? Pan, in, pan, in pan forever, in, pounding in, away at the rabbit holes. Like, I tell you what, I would not want that man... Behind me pounding. Which, I tell you what, he'd do some damage to, to your rabbit hole. You know what I'm saying? Well, I guess if he broke Batman's back, then I'd hate to know what else he could break. You, your, your asshole, probably. Yeah, I wasn't going to go there, Dave. I don't want to, I don't, I would not want to be Wario right now in that match. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm trying, I'm going to really try harder. L L Luigi, did you say his name was? That's correct, Dave. Okay. Uh, I'm glad you're learning, that's all I can ask. Who, who the fuck is Luigi? Luigi is Mario's brother. No, that's Wario. No, Wario isn't, Dave. The, we've been over this. That's exactly, we've the been over this. The thing. No, he's got the backwards M to make yeah. a W because he's yeah. the opposite of what... So he's an anti-hero. He's an anti-hero. No, he's anti not an anti-hero, anti Dave. I don't know how you don't understand the basics of this. He is not a hero at all. He is a straight-out villain. He does nothing good. Okay. Mario is I mean, a this, hero. Uh, this guy looks pretty evil, so that makes sense. Wait, how so Luigi's the bad guy. Mario's the good guy. So Luigi's the one that's teaming up with that um, spiky character to steal the princess all the time. Is that right? Am I, have I got it right now? You, I, you, you're so wrong, I don't even know where to start. Can't, can't you just give me, like... One kind of like positive reinforcement just once. Just say that I'm close. Just say that I'm really fucking trying here, Dex. Well, the, the thing is, is that you're not even close, so I can't. And generally, I do praise you when you get something right, Dave, so you don't seem but to... But you never praise me. Anyway, I'm just going to move on from here because I don't really want to talk to you about this. And Bane is taking significant control of the match right now. Maybe mm -hmm. it's because he has the Punisher watching on and he feels like he needs to impress his boyfriend. He really wants to impress him. He, he really does. He wants uh, to get that uh, reward in the bedroom later. I believe these two actually have a big match coming up in the Royal Rumble as well. So it'll be interesting to see how they go there. Do you think the Punisher's into BDSM? Uh, Being the name, the, you know, the Punisher. He's going to give you a bit of a spanking later with the cat of nine tails in a gimp suit. I mean, he's already kind of halfway there with that black spandex. 
And, uh, like, you know, that mask on Bane kind of looks a little bit, you know, a little bit freaky as well. I mean, why the hell does he wear that thing? I don't know. I, I know he has a weird voice in the movie. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, like, makes his voice all fucked. You can't understand a word that he's saying. I don't think they actually... really impractical. I don't think they ever actually explained that. I, I mean, I could be wrong. It seems like quite a, like, you know, glaring point to just, like, you know, Yeah, miss. it seems like a pretty large plot hole to miss in, in a movie. I mean, it's like a defining point of, like, who the character is, and they're just like, eh, they can figure it out. That seems to be the running motif in many DC films, though, Dave. Mm. They, they seem to just feel like they can glimpse over some pretty important uh, plot development and just expect you to infer the rest. Well, well, Luigi seems to have been taking a real stranglehold over this match now. He he's is, and, and Bane might be enjoying it, but no, he's, he's taken it back, and now he's giving some of it to Luigi, and they just seem to be grappling a lot. That was always the thing I never quite understood with people who enjoy pain. Like, what is the threshold? Like, why, why are they not just, like, going around, like, you know, picking fights with people on the streets all the time and just getting the shit kicked out of them? I mean, if that's the thing that they're into... It seems like a very dangerous kind of lifestyle to lead with a very short life expectancy. Well, I guess you have all those uh, annoying people on Facebook creating those social experiment videos mm. and they end up getting punched in the face probably nine times out of ten. Mm. So, Do you think if they were into BDSM, that could be a positive thing? Although like, a lot of those people are probably into BDSM. Well, that's what I'm saying, Dave. That's is, the connection. Is, is maybe that's, and that's maybe like social... Ex from uh, Mr... And he kicked no, out. Nothing. So maybe social experiments on Facebook are the new BDSM, Dave. Mm. Maybe that's the new form of uh, sexual pleasure from pain. Yeah. I mean, some of those guys do look like they would enjoy that. And they seem to enjoy people watching. Yeah, yeah. And, and that, that is. It's a public event. And... They, they ask you to like it as well. Did you see that? He just shoved his face into his crotch. He did, Dave. But see, and I don't know how that much. That would knock me like, out too, I think. I don't know how much in those overalls. Like, you know, God knows what stench one, they've got going two, on. That's two. That's and Bane kicks out. It's going to take a bit more to uh, bring him down, I think. And that was a pretty hard punch to the head and a kick following it. Why does this man even feel the need to like? Does he forget his name a lot? Is that why he's got L's all over his overalls and his hat and whatnot? I think it's so he doesn't confuse his clothes with Mario, since they wear the same thing most of the time. Just uh, I suppose they wear different colors as well. But yeah, wouldn't he just like pick up the green shirt? Like it seems kind of like superfluous to like you know have an L there as well. Maybe he's colorblind, Dave. Oh. <laughs> And that was a tornado off the turnbuckle. And that could be the end of Bane now. We got a pin happening. One, two, and no. Still not enough to take so him out. close every time, but Bane just, uh, you think he'd be saving that energy for later for, you know, you know what I mean? But uh, he seems to really want to be giving it his all. It seems that uh, having the Punisher there has really given him like that inspiration that he needs to pound this green fellow so he can get a real good pounding later. Well, he's... And, and Luigi seems to be... What's he doing be, there? He looks like he's making the sign of the cross. And he seems to be stuck in a loop, and he's, he's performing the same move three times in a row. That's a lot of pain That's not Bane. what the fans want. But and Bane just, like, copped it all, and then just like, you know what, I'm just going to smack you right here in the face. I don't care about what anything you just threw at me there. It's as though Bane realised that Luigi was uh, providing a boring match, and now the fans are loving it, and we're now for a pin one. And, and this two, turnaround, but, but not, no, not enough. Not having a bar of it. Bane lately in his matches, he doesn't seem to be able to inflict enough damage to really keep his opponents down. Mm. And it's been, he hasn't won a match actually in this whole season, Dave. Really? No, he's, he's lost every match. You should have paired him against the ball dudes in the previous match. He might have had a better chance. It, it's possibly that maybe when he's against a haired opponent, he, he's not going to win. No. The hair is obviously the superior fighter in this case. And a one, and a two. But no, another kick out. And I think you're right. He is definitely trying to impress the Punisher here. He doesn't want to give up. He's just like, he gets so close every time and he just refuses to let that last little bit of juice squeeze out of him. That, that, that sounded very sexual, Dave. And you didn't have a pin going and on now, here. One. Give a bit more of a squeeze. Two. No. And Day, uh, Bane's quite frustrated. Now. Mm-hmm. Not, not liking this happening at all.
Hey, whatever happened to to Batman? I think Batman was quite humiliated by his loss to the Joker at Payback, and he's maybe taking a break and re-evaluating uh, uh, you know, his whole approach. I do. I have heard a rumor he will be in the 30-man Royal Rumble, however, I mean, I feel and he, he'll be sporting oh. some new uh, a new look, Dave. Oh, that sounds exciting. So yeah, we we won't see him until the Royal Rumble, I believe. But when's that gonna be? Uh, in a couple of weeks, Dave. I believe it will be in two weeks, actually. Okay. Well, I look forward to seeing that then. And then, of course, we'll have a, a week break, and then. What's well, that next week? We we'll no. have a week break next week. No, no, Dave. Uh, after the Royal Rumble, we'll, oh, after the Royal we'll Rumble. have a normal match, Dave. But it won't be a full, full night. It will be a, a mm. single match to determine who's going to go up against the uh, Diva Champion, and then right. we'll have WrestleMania. That sounds exciting, Dex. I'm looking forward to it. It is, but we've got some exciting weeks coming up, and of course, the Royal Rumble is going to be a huge night. And whoever wins the Royal Rumble gets to uh, contend against the champion at WrestleMania for the championship belt. Well, who would you like to see in that Royal Rumble and who do you think will win? You can comment in the box below. You can. We, we, we do have a box, don't we, Dex? Yes, we, we, have a, we have a box. I've seen those in like those videos before. I don't know what they actually do, though. And there's That's the three it. count, and Luigi has won the match. He's taking it home for his brother, Wario. And Bane's... They're going to be so proud. Bane's unfortunate loss streak continues, Dave. And he just can't catch a break. And let's hope he can gain some momentum. The Warrior Brothers really are a formidable force that people are going to be watching out for in the future. Yeah, uh, Dave, it's Luigi. Just look at the L and remember, it's L for Luigi. Yeah, so I said Luigi Warrior. It's Luigi and Mario, Dave. You can't keep doing this, Dave. Great weeks into it, and you're still getting everything wrong. Okay, it's just too much to do. It's, it's too much. There's so, it's so much to be keeping track of. Like, Wario's, Luigi's, heroes, anti heroes. None of this makes any sense. And thank you for watching WWE Celebrity Brawl. Pre please like and share yeah. and comment below. We really want you to get involved with our videos. We love that you're watching them too in their entirety, but some interaction would be great. Don't forget those hundred subscribers. We've got something very special planned. Thanks for watching. Till next week.